For us, it's time to take on a new project and natural progression of the sport, natural progression of our team, always wanting to push the boundaries and just try something new. And this is working out on paper to be definitely the most competitive car that's going to come out of Mad Mike Stables. The first part of the entire build is the chassis. It's a MX-5 uh, with a factory backing from Mazda now, so it's a 90.7 inch wheelbase, so it's super short. A couple of real interesting things about uh, the NC chassis itself. One is it actually comes factory as a piston four-cylinder engine with 200 odd horsepower. So for us to be donking in a rotor engine that's going to be boasting 1,000 horsepower, that's um, definitely going to be unique. But for us, the, the fact that it's convertible, I think that's what's going to make this kind of just a rad project to really be involved with. It's going to be exciting for the whole team to be able to really put this thing to, together to make you know, what we hope to be the most competitive platform in the, in the world. A bonus we have of this chassis is it has a fully recessed firewall from the factory. With the rules and regulations of all the drifting series around the world, you're not allowed to modify your firewall. You're allowed to cut a hole slightly larger for a bigger gearbox. But this just means we can move the engine further back, which is going to give us more weight over the rear wheels, which is more traction, so we'll be faster, be able to throw it harder and get more grip than anyone else. What? Uh, Kaz has come up with here in this CAD program is fully redesigned a whole front clip. So this literally bolts to the front of the car. The intercooler will mount to this and a few other little bits and pieces, but this really simplifies the front end and gives us as much room as possible to fit that big block rotary that we're going to throw in there. She's got a pretty naked butt on this thing. So this is going to be the home of our radiator, full cooling system and um, fuel system, um, surge tanks and everything will all live down here. The roll cage will carry on back through here with some nice wall riding bars and you know that's what you guys want to see is some wall scrapes. Uh, the body gets cut off, uh, all gets rebuilt in fiberglass or um, carbon. Underneath we'll have a subframe, full custom subframe which will mount under there and we'll have to fit the um, sprint car style winters quick change to um, and strong axles. So here you can see my office chair housed by the roll cage. This is probably, for me, the most exciting part of this entire build and I think this is going to make or break the entire look. Um, you know, it's been sitting down with Kaz to make sure that we get the right rake and right angles on this roll cage. As you can see, he's made quite an aggressive looking jungle gym. So the biggest thing for us as chassis fabricators is obviously the safety of the driver and secondly, making this chassis as rigid as possible. I'll do this with Mike, he's all about looks and style. So um, obviously going for a real aggressive rake, which gives the real evil look. Then all our features is with the triangulation and the scalloping of the cage to um, structurally make it as strong as possible. I can't wait to unveil an exposed roll cage and be one of the only convertibles out there on the pro field for sure. A lot of people when we say we're building a convertible NC Miata, they're like, Dude, that's a frickin' hairdresser's car, but we'll see if they say that when it hits the track.